Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, update time on the Crusader Mark One by Interleri, and this is part of my entry into Sir John's uh, group build Operation Torch. We'll go around and have a quick look at the, uh, look at the Crusader and then I'll have my gripe about Indelari. Okay, uh, as you can see, it's all built, it's all done and I enjoy building. I haven't built a tank for a long time and I did enjoy building this one. I've got my commander in the top there. He's, ha he's now an amputee because I've had to cut his legs off to actually get him in position. But he don't look too bad. Uh, I've stuck with the rubber band tracks. I said that uh, I didn't like them, but to be fair, they went together really nice and they sit well and they look good. So I'm leaving them. Uh, I am going to be doing a little bit of storage on the back, uh, just just because I can, and because. Uh, quite a while ago my good friend Joe he sent me uh, some bricks and also he sent me a little bag of storage and there we go Joe I am actually starting to use it now <coughs> so that's a little bit of storage on the back it all went together uh, really nice it's a nice little kit I can't complain about the kit the kit itself okay fit smack on and there we go, uh, John. Even the wheels are nice and level on this one. Uh, all in all, not a bad little kit. And it really is not a bad little kit. But I'm still going to have a gripe about it. Uh, I'll have a gripe in a minute. But I just better say, there's no weathering done on this. Uh, it looks a bit light. Actually, it is light on the camera but when you actually see it it is quite dark it is dark sand that's what it said on the Vallejo bottle dark sand uh, I am still debating about doing a little bit of camouflage on it but I haven't decided yet because I'm now going to be putting this to one side uh, and getting on with the otter uh, because the otter is, is, is a, there's a lot more bits in the otter than there is, there is in this one and I'm going to weather them together. I'm still in two minds about buying another Crusader to have two Crusaders to go with the Otter as well. But I haven't decided yet. But I made a good start. That's that's the main thing. If all else fails, I have got an entry. I have an entry. So I will move on and have my little gripe now about Interlary. Uh, a on the actual sprues, I didn't notice it when I was uh, did the review. The sprues have got no friggin' numbers on, none at all. You have to use the sprue map. It's okay to start off with uh, the larger pieces that you can sort of like instantly see, but when you start getting down to the smaller bits and pieces, it becomes a pain in the ass. It really did. Uh, in the end I ended up ripping the uh, sprue map off the actual sheet because you have to keep going backwards and forwards and uh, cutting them up and just sticking them all together so I had like a reference just to get a rough idea of whereabouts on the actual sprue the part was because the little parts you know what it's like you can be looking at it for a good three or four minutes and if you're not at the right angle to see that particular shape you don't see it so that's my first gripe about it. Uh, second gripe is this is a 70s revamped kit put into a nice new shiny box uh, dated up 2012 and sold at 2017 prices. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. Uh, you know, you're paying top dollar then for a kit that was really produced in the 70s. I'm not happy. Uh, 
that's my gripes about it. Uh, the actual kit itself all went together lovely. There was no fit issues at all. Just the normal little bit of sand in here uh, to get it to get it in. Uh, but like I say, I still paid top dollar. I, by the time we paid postage and packing, it still come in at thirty quid. Thirty quid is thirty pound. Uh, you know, you put another five or six pound to it, you can you can get a uh, Bronco one, uh, which I don't really know if it's how much better it is. I shall be finding out because if I do order, if I do get another uh, Crusader to go onto the little diorama I'm going. I will buy a Bronco one, I think, uh, just to see what the difference is. See what the you know if it, if it is better quality. But that's here and there. I might do, I might not. You know. Uh, there again, it would be nice to have the same markings on both the tanks. And the only way I'm really going to do that is by buying another Intellary one. So uh, there's a lot of fours and against. But the actual kit itself, I haven't got no problems at all with the kit. Lovely little kit. All went together nice. Uh, not like John's T55, which I've got one of them as well. And uh, I think me and John are doing exactly the same things. We're going to burn them out. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Enough of my griping enough of my moaning that is part of my little entry into my good friend John's uh, Operation Torch group build and uh, that's the end of this little update so thank you very much for joining me uh, the next one's going to be on the Otter so we'll see you then